This is a special message. Please stay tuned. Eh, what's up, Doc? Where's Mr. Frankenstein? <laughs> I'm fixing some possum soup tonight. It's made with Himalayan possum. I found him laying on the road. <laughs> so, how come you're not playing? Well, you wise guy. So I'm waiting on my kids to get back from Nashville. Two hours away, two hours. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Just want a text. Let me know you're okay, you're alive, okay? You know, no consideration for the mother. We were watching an old Clint Eastwood movie called Play Misty For Me. And he had a stalker and she was evil. And that's why I didn't answer your but your videos are funny. And then what happened? The first time I saw the movie was at a drive-in with Mama, and she made me get down in the back seat when it came to a lovey-dovey part. And that's when I heard the song, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face. But she wouldn't let me see the lovey-dovey part between the man and the woman. What did I marry you to? <laughs> You married into a bunch of clowns. <laughs> well, it's time for me to go night night. I love you, sissy. Mwah! Now I'm in bed, and it's dark in here, so my face won't pick up. So I guess I'm done now. <laughs> but I love that memory. And the first time ever I saw your face is one of my favorite songs. Love you, sissy night. And why are you in bed? Don't you know it's time to play? Are you getting old? Eh, I love you anyway. See you later, alligator. Bye! Well, since it seems like Jason's in the bed with you, now I know why you were in the bed early. So I guess, folks, do it, do it. <laughs> well, they took away my favorite face. So now I guess I gotta stick with this one. I don't really like big lips. I like that frowny one better. But they took her away. Well, if you don't like big lips, try this one because I think these lips are quite small. It's just that your face is really round in it. Good. Thank you for looking and commenting on my pictures. Now I don't feel so lonely and like I'm coloring by myself. You, you know how it is when you get old. Well, no, you don't. <laughs> I've often wondered why this man sounds so country and why we don't ever give him a better voice because I honestly think he could be quite distinctive. I can't figure this one out. Am I supposed to make it where my nose looks big? Or my mouth? Hmm, weird. Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> Jimmy Durante. <laughs> I think you're supposed to make your eye look bigger. Maybe? I love you too, Susie. I was up at 3 a.m. 
and then 5 a.m., and we cooked till 11, and then we had our Thanksgiving at 12. It was good. Love you. Good night. Well, y'all have done it now. My belly is full of Buckeyes and chocolate pie and pimento cheese and not the cornbread yet, but I know that's a coming. Well, I'm just doomed to be fat. Sister, you crack me up. <laughs> and you're not doomed to be fat. It's just good food for about, what, once a year that we can fix for y'all whenever we can. But anyway, enjoy it and let me know if you like the peanut brittle. <laughs> Sister, it is what it is. You see, my jowls and my turkey neck. Well, it's just gonna get worse, I guess. We'll just have to accept it and grow old gracefully. But anyway, I love you the way you are and the way you're gonna be. It's okay, sissy. I'm trying to look at it as when Jesus was in the boat with the disciples and the disciples freaked out because of the storm. And I have to just say, you know, God's got everything in control. It's okay. And so I don't have to worry. And so I'm trying to have that attitude. Well, I refuse that. What's that supposed to do, sister? If that chokes me. It don't work. Well, I was only funning about that part. What you really do is you do like a lizard thing and you go. When the holidays get busy, I'll find as you covered with our $20 holiday. And as you do that, it tightens that up. I've got to. What are you gonna do, tell mama? No. I'm gonna fix you a possum and not tell you what it is next time you come over here. <laughs> Florida scored again? Uh, I thought we had it and so I came to bed and I thought I'd just check Google. But now I'm not happy. But I hope we win. Don't look at me, I haven't had my shower yet. But actually it was Barbara Eden on the Andy Griffith Show on the Manicurist episode that she said, Why do people do that? And that's what I was trying to get you to hear in my text, but unfortunately you can't hear our voices in our text. Sister, Jason thinks we're funny, and when we're doing this and he hears your little voice, and he just says, that's funny, y'all crazy, and it is kind of funny, but you know what, I think we should make them do it. Jeffrey and Jason need to do this. Impromptu don't have a blame thing to do about how many cheeseburgers you eat. You just gotta grab the bull by the horns and hang on. Impromptu? What does that mean? I'm gonna have to use the Google to find out what that means. But anyway, you, Jeffrey, does your wife make you only eat one cheeseburger? She only let me have one cheeseburger. I gotta have two cheeseburgers because I'm a growing up. Lord help us, child. I don't know what's gonna become of us. <laughs> I have to go cook dinner now, so we'll play later. See ya. You're even a pretty alien. My eyes always look gross. <laughs> well, this one is just weird. You look like a piranha. Playmate, come out and play with me, and bring your dolly sweetly. <laughs> Climb up my apple tree, slide down my rain barrel, into my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forevermore. <laughs> well, I tried to to show Lisa your video of you and Angie, and it was it just disappeared. So. Y'all do something again and send it to us now, okay? Have fun. I love you. Bye-bye.
sister, aren't we funny? But honey, I saw your boy fingers. You got the arthritis in your fingers. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So give me some now. I want some figgy pudding. I want some figgy pudding. I want some figgy pudding. So give me some now. Well, you got that all wrong, didn't you? The figgy pudding comes first. Well, I realized that. You know, I'm getting old, and look, you made me mess up my mascara. <laughs> I always have so much fun with you. I love that you like to play. I like it, too. Now, you go get that twirly head of yours and go dry your hair before it crimps all up and nasty. Sister, you're so funny. I think I'm going to have to start wearing me some Depends. <laughs> Really and truly, I was just kidding about the Depends. But when we get older, I mean really older, there's no telling what's going to come out of our mouth. Sister, you make me laugh so much. <laughs> I just listened to your last one, and it was so funny, and I'm, I'm loving this. I, I hope we can continue to do this. I hope they never take this face away. <laughs> Well, I think you're a better looking clown than me. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, ooh, I don't like how I look. <laughs> well, sister, I'm done for the day. I have to go to work. And that last time, it got me good. Because I was laughing and crying so hard. I had to reapply my deodorant for a second time. Oh, mercy. Bye. I love you. Sister, do you know what I think this is? I think this is the Lord allowing us to get a glimpse of ourselves as we get older so we won't fret about it when we start getting wrinkled and stuff. So, we need to enjoy this. And I think we'll be cute old people. You may be younger, but I'm blonder, and I've had more fun than you. Not. <laughs>